it made sense to me because that was a lot of it was similar to my humor just real short and I mean Twitter's short and 140 characters that's your joke um, My name is Patrick Doherty. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. I moved to Phoenix, Arizona for a little bit before moving back to the ATL. So I've lived most of my life in Georgia. So my name is Austin or Kent Sheridan. Um, I don't really have any favorite weird Twitters right now. I liked maybe a couple in the past, but I always seem to lose interest in most of them. Um, I don't really know that many, honestly. So, there's probably some that I'd like that I don't know about. So, I'm open to suggestions. Okay. Um, I'd say my Twitter inspiration is obviously myself but also a small group of friends on twitter because it seems like what they tweet and how they tweet it affects what i'm thinking and how i want to tweet also that would include andrew austin claire and valerie especially claire and valerie they have a i didn't see the way they would type their tweets before I met them and then after reading their Twitter and just communicating through Twitter a lot I started to pick up the way they talked on Twitter and so my tweets started to sound kind of like their tweets because I would type it the same way and I seriously think it's something contagious I don't know at first I don't think I recognized it but now I'm fully aware that I am copying their swag and I apologize that I even said swag because I think that was last year and I don't think we're still using that but we might be I don't know uh my favorite accounts are just carrots share mine mine Claire's Andrew's not Austin's mine what about Patrick? Patrick. yeah sour cream Some of my favorite weird Twitters, I think, some of the ones that started everything would be, I mean, one of the biggest ones definitely would have been, <laughs> it's funny, Cool Baby Rat. Um, he was kind of one of the first big Twitters that I think I followed um, when I first realized kind of that people were were really using this to as weird Twitter. Um, uh, another big one was Cool Pond. I think Cool Baby Rat and Cool Pond kind of came about at the same time onto my feed, and um, that's when I really realized. I mean, especially through Cool Pond, um, just how weird Twitter worked and how. Um, it how it was presented and you know what was funny and what wasn't and so I think immediately it made sense to me because that was 
a lot of it was similar to my humor, just real short. And I mean, Twitter's short and 140 characters. That's your joke. Um, and that's pretty great. I think. What I started doing was, you know, kind of changing my own way of, of how I did my tweets. And I saw all these other Twitters, Cool Baby Rat, Cool Pond, their, their fake personalities. They're, I mean, they're hiding behind whatever their profile picture is and their name is. It's an entity, it's a character that they've created. And so that's what I really loved. I wasn't seen as a weird tweeter. I was seen as, um, back then, just a high school kid who was weird and just tweeted things that didn't make sense. So I think as my Twitters have come up from just names, just thinking of a name. So I thought of Dupe Snog. I thought that was hilarious. And I, I put that down. I edited a little picture of, um, of um, Snoop Dogg and made him look, I mean, I found the dumbest picture I could and just blasted the saturation on the cheapest, cheapest um, image editing software I had and just put that up. And I had that for a while. No one knew it was me. I didn't tell anybody, any of my friends, for, for quite a long time because there wasn't really anything good. It was kind of just a junk Twitter at first. <coughs> and um, all of a sudden, I was just really kind of in a bad place and was thinking, you know, screw this. I'm going to post something on dupe snog that I wrote on Kent Sheridan and so that's where some of my best tweets came from I had two that I thought were really great that were originally written on dupe snog a few that were okay but all of a sudden I, I put up my fave star which is a website a secondary website which counts your best and most favorited tweets um, you put that up and it's immediately immediately shows people it's like a portfolio it's like the best of the best and I just got recognition by one really big weird Twitter and I remember the specific day um, I have no closing remarks about any of this I mean it's just Twitter but I would definitely be different without it. <laughs>